Hello and welcome to Beautier the German Engineer. Today we're back with oxygen not included, but I figured it is time to do something new. And that is to explain to you some important concepts and builds a little bit closer. I do want to hold the time frame at around 10 minutes. I think that is a good amount of time to explain it in enough detail that everybody should understand. And if there are any more questions, feel free to ask in the comments down below or join my Discord channel for which you can find the link in the description down below. So let's just jump right into it and let's get started with the first build. The first build is the SPOM or SPOM or self-powered oxygen machine. A very important concept that anybody who plays oxygen not included should know. So let's see what we got here. Let's turn it on. Let's turn our overlay back on so we can actually see what's going on here. And let's take a look at this here. If you have watched my Let's Play, you're probably familiar with this build here. It's literally straight out of my Let's Play. So let's see what we got here. We have an electrolyzer and two gas pumps. Those two gas pumps are hooked up to two Atmo sensors and down here on the bottom I just built an infinite storage water supply. Where your water comes from, now that is up to you. I'm not only going to show you this one build right here, but three different ones. Depending on your water supply and your oxygen need, you can build whichever one you want. You will find that two of those builds are very similarly or exactly built like this in my Let's Play. So let's see what we have here, first of all. Let's take a look in the overlay here. The water comes in and then the water goes through here with some radiant liquid pipes. Why the radiant liquid pipes? If we take a look at the electrolyzer and we take a look right here, we can see that the oxygen here comes out at at least 70 degrees Celsius. And the hydrogen comes out also at at least 70 degrees Celsius. And it can be hotter depending on the temperature of the water that you feed into it. Currently, this is 30 degrees Celsius water. That is reasonable. That is something that you would find in a real game. So that is not made up and is actually pretty realistic. So how does the system work? Let's take a look in our overlay right here. We have the uh, very light hydrogen here on the top. It comes out of the electrolyzer, goes to the top and fills this left side here. There's only one way in and so the lighter material, which is the hydrogen, will fill this area here up with hydrogen and the oxygen will go in the other chamber. So now if we take a look into the overlay for our pipes, we can see that the oxygen here, I just built a high pressure gas vent because it doesn't matter. There is no base that I could use it for. We are just literally in an empty space. So we're just venting it out here and that's okay. But you can use it for whatever you want, of course. Up here on the top, what is this here? Well, here our hydrogen comes out. It gets fed into this gas pipe right here. Or better to say, this gas bridge right here. Comes up to here and gets fed straight into a hydrogen generator. The hydrogen generator is controlled by a smart battery. And then here we have a power transformer, which then uses the power to power up the entire system that we have here. Pretty simple and straightforward. So this here is the bare basics. You may have to adjust it for your needs a tiny little bit. For example, this build here really does not need conductive wire. So if you don't have copper, that's fine. You don't need copper for it. The only thing is the smart battery, but even the smart battery is not absolutely needed. The only thing it does is, is prevents the hydrogen generator from running the entire time. And we are actually hydrogen positive and therefore power positive. This here is another infinite storage. And currently we already have, what, uh, 2,900 grams in here. And this here has barely been running at all. Uh, what it does is, if this here fills up and it's full to the brim, the excess hydrogen will be fed through this pipe here into the storage. And you can use it to power the rest of your base, for example. On to the next one. This here is the next size up. Instead of one, now we have two electrolyzers. And I believe this one here is called the uh, Semi or the Half Rodriguez. Literally double the size. Uh, we have two electrolyzers and each of those electrolyzers here, and that is important to keep in mind, produces 112 grams of hydrogen and 888 grams of oxygen. That is important to keep in mind because if you take a look at the hydrogen generator right here, each one of those takes 100 grams. So one electrolyzer produces just slightly more than one hydrogen generator consumes if it is running 100% of the time. And thanks to our battery here, it is not running 100% of the time. So we are getting even more out. All of these systems here have been running the same amount of time. This one is at 12.6 kilogram of excess hydrogen. And I'm currently just venting the oxygen back out into space since I don't have a use for it. Once again, down here on the bottom, we have just a random water supply wherever you get your water from. 
It may be a cool steam vent. It may be a slush gazier. Well, whatever you have sitting around, it really does not matter where your water comes from. You just need to know how much water you have available. And the electrolyzer right here uses, let's take a look, 1000 grams per second. As long as you can supply, let's say 2000 grams per second and that constantly, two electrolyzers are fine. Also, what I also like to do, and I have this on every build, everywhere I have signal switches, because I want to be able to turn the system on and off however I want to. That is very important to me. Let's take a look at the overview right here. With F6, we do the exact same thing. We have radiant liquid pipes uh, to cool down our oxygen. That is just a built-in system. And of course, that only works if your water is cold. You can come in here with 90 degree hot water if you want to. The only thing is then all the oxygen in your hydrogen is going to come out at 90. The hydrogen really doesn't matter since the only use we have for it is to put it into hydrogen generators. But the oxygen, if you want to use it in your base, you need to be slightly more careful. On to the next view. We can see here exactly how our oxygen and our hydrogen moves around. Here we have uh, just two pipes hooked together so we can come out here we can take a look here one of those gas pumps here releases 500 grams of oxygen in a tile and together they combine to a maximum of 1000 grams here in the middle i did not build it symmetrical don't ask me why <laughs> that is uh, something that i just noticed usually i wouldn't do that but that's okay it still works the exact same and then here we can see what our bridge here does if this pipe here is not full to the brim then we're gonna put our hydrogen into this pipe if it is full to the brim we put it out to our infinite storage or wherever else you want to put it also now if you take a look into our power overview we have four times 240 or better to say five times 240 plus two times 120 and if you want to also have a liquid pump on it another 240 which means this conductive wire here is at 1680 watts so a normal wire for this setup here will not cut it anymore you have to go conductive and you have to go a large power transformer and also to make sure mathematically you have enough power you need two hydrogen generators one of those produces 800 watts if you take a look here 800 and 800 make 1600 and the potential load is 1680 so how does it still work well these things are not constantly running because we have our atmos sensors right here and they're in every build setup the same for the oxygen above 500 and for the hydrogen above 250 grams pretty easy and straightforward on to the next one and this here is the full Rodriguez with a total of four electrolyzers. Holy cow. Four electrolyzers and six gas pumps for oxygen, plus one on the top here for the hydrogen. That is the build that I have used in my let's play. Just slightly modified because I'm actually powering the entire base with this thing and not just itself. Here on the top though is the version of how it would power only itself. Plus of course a bunch of excess. Now we have 71.2 kilograms in here. So let's take a look. Uh, the gas pipes here are a little bit more important we are using here on the top our actual gas pipes to cool down this entire area so let's take a look at it it is currently at 56 degrees and uh, that is how it's gonna stay uh, reason being is if you take a look here our hydrogen is also at roughly 53 54 degrees so that is exactly the temperature this is gonna stay i put hydrogen into here but that is absolutely not necessary you can put oxygen in there whatever you have not that important it will work either way what do we have in here uh four hydrogen generators one smart battery a power transformer and a large power transformer let's take a look at how all this stuff here is hooked together literally just with heavy watt wires all the way across on the top with a heavy joint plate in the middle and then here the cross the batteries in there as well as our two transformers and the big transformer is responsible for handling all these pumps here on the bottom plus the one on the top and I also hooked up the liquid pump. That comes out to be exactly 1920 watts of potential load, which is perfect. There's nothing wrong with that. The second smaller power transformer over here has a potential load of 480 watts, and that is solely to power our four electrolyzers. That is how that is set up. And once again, our Atmos sensors on the top here for the hydrogen above 250, and the other two for oxygen are set at above 500 grams. This here is not quite a, as a compact system and supplying 4,000 grams of water constantly. That is quite a feat. So you need to have the resources available to get that done. So don't just build this here if you don't know if you have 4,000 grams of water a second available to you. And also, if you don't know what to do with your oxygen, exactly what I did in my let's play. We're just going to slap it in here into another infinite storage. Uh, we already have 1,600 kilograms in here at a nice, wonderful 30 degrees. That is exactly what that should be. 
And that is the overview for our three different spawns, at least my three favorites. There is something for everybody in there. It does not matter if you have enough water to supply four electrolyzers, two electrolyzers, or only one electrolyzer. For every size base, there's something for you. Also, all the stuff here on the side especially can be modified. I just built it really somewhere just so you can see actually what it does. I could have built it all the way over here and you would have never seen it. But that is not the purpose of this video. So if you enjoy this kind of content, please subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video and also comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are about these three simple spawn builds. I'm always happy to hear from you. You guys know it. But with that, I say thank you and peace.